just soften it off a bit. There's a bit of black in there actually as well. Yes. And so we've got the black line there, but we can go over it with pink now because it is dark there. So just putting in the patches of sort of orangey pink I suppose you'd call it. Um, now I'm just looking at something there that's a bit quite quite dark there when I look at the picture. So yeah put the white white line on the yeah in, I haven't copied it on my, I haven't copied it on, I mean, I've, I've traced it right, but I haven't copied it on here right. So that black line that I put there should really be the, the other side of this. There. Yeah, that's it. Not that side. It kind of goes right up. I'll just go over that in um, blurring grey for now. So I can still see that white traced on line there. I've got my burnt nose in the right place now. It was just looking too thick on the right side. Straight away I could see, oh no, that's wrong. Right, we'll just get the orangey pink on now. As you can see it's quite dark here. Not pressing very hard, just getting it on in that patch. And then this is going over the black outer line of her nose. It's all sort of smudgy, except for that bit there, that's quite strong there. hints on there because I'm going to put the other the other pink on now if it's a light yeah lighter pink leave those white lines on the end for now and we'll put in see it's black here I'm going to put that in now and you can see this line I've got here isn't right. It's got to come down there. Not much. That line needs to be going in a different angle. In a bit like that. Put that line in there again. Just move across like that. Then we'll use the white. Now we do need a bit of white on the edges here because these are going to, we'll blend these in. There's not much there because again it's dark on this side so 
the light is more just there and just up here just there just here just there line there is a bit thick, then we've still got our light white line there, yeah, that's my critter on the white here, okay, and then we'll bend it over with a nice pink. right over the white areas then we'll lighten it up a bit more with this now yeah see it's, it's got a bit of a uh, dirty look to to this nose there just put those little bits in there just had to go over that with a flat vest. Yeah. I'm just looking at the shape, shape of his uh, nostril there. Need black here. get a dark line like this followed by a blue line. I've never seen this before. So I think it's quite unusual. Uh, normally you wouldn't put a line like this around around an animal's nose but I put it on because if I can that's what I'm seeing. So just put on what you're seeing. It needs a bit more white in here. Just the teeniest bits. And we'll do some break that up a little bit though. And it's a bit dark. Just lighten it up a bit.
see a bit of pink here now we can put in just here it's a bit dark there isn't it so I'm just going to lighten that up a bit I put the blue in there to try and make it kind of well a bit violet but it'll be okay I'll just put a bit of white on it now This bit here is a little bit harsh. Just soften that up. Then put, put the pink into it. That's better. That, again, that's a bit harsh there. Yeah, see, this is what I do. I put the, the details in and then I just soften them all up. Everything should look like it's in the right place. That needs to come out there a bit, a bit rounded. There. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the nose would take a bit of a bit of doing. Just want to lighten up on this right side here. I can see it's a bit too dark. So I'm just going to lighten it up through there. I've got some nice, got a nice patch there under, under it, her eye. Keep that under there. This, this is a lot lighter here. Got another little Yeah, that's it. That line there is slightly wrong. It's just softening over. Then this knee is just lightening up. So all my hair's in. making this line a bit more pronounced there and in here we've got these little little marks Still got blue in there that we put in. It's looking okay. A little bit more yellow in here to brighten it up a bit. Put a bit more blue in there. I think. Oh, that blue could do with a bit of a sharpen for this fine work. I think. 
It's not terribly blue, but this gives it a nice sort of smoky look, doesn't it? needs to be a lot darker at the bottom so we've put on black now because that was the grey wasn't it I'm just looking right at his nose now there that needs to come down because you can see although this looks really dark you can see the pink is just it is kind of going down there right down and here we've got hardly discernible line here between this this is a lot pinker this is the bright pink now so we'll make this a lot pinker then we'll put some white in it to brighten it up a bit because it's brighter than his nose just down the bottom there um, but up here it's got some black in it we'll just put some white over it and then that should do the trick I think then the white hairs come out of that yes that's it Got a little bit more, more of a line coming through there. And this white line here is it's too strong. So we need the we need the sort of rusty pink over there. That's it. That's it. Just smudge it over and it will just mix all the colours up together. pretty good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We'll just do the dark line um, on the outside of his nose here. So that's that. Then we've got kind of going, yeah, it's kind of a round line. It's going in a round. It's not coming, see that? It's not coming past his nose, nostril. It's inside. And then the flecks are on the outside. All the flecks around it. And 
you've got that nice line there and then you've got flex flex around it a bit of blue in there tuning there. I can see some blue that we need in here. It's nice light at the moment so I'd like to make the most of that. It's quite late now. The sun's set in. We do get some nice sunsets here. Yeah, that's what I meant to put in earlier. It was a bit of pink, a little bit of pink in his her uh, must try and find out what this little cat is, a boy or a girl. Just a little bit of pink. I'm gonna paint the outside. Got some nice pink in there. It's going to need to go white right up here. Yeah, that's yeah. A little bit of pink right on the edge there. And of course, a bit of pink here. That will blend in nicely when we get the white on. See a tiny little line in there. It's kind of there. That's his top. It's his top lip. Yeah, I can see it's just just across there. I know it's all fluffy here, but this is the best way to do lips. Just put a line in and then you can go mad with your, your hairy bits after. Just stick to this line. Remember we measured this compared to the other side, so we don't want to get carried away with that. There's a little curl here. A little 
goes. Tugging out. gingery colour this side. So we've got to put the white in first anyway. And we've got a line coming, I can see a line coming directly from under there. And then cross. And then we've got lines coming down there. nose here, I remember measuring that before. Yeah, just there. Hang on, let's just do that again. Yeah, the notch is there. And that's where it comes down. I'm going to put a bit of a strong line in there so don't miss that again. It goes across. It's hardly noticeable, but well, got to put it in, haven't you, really? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, that's pretty good. I think we can just put some more white in here. His hairs are very fine, actually, on here. Just smudge it across. Smudge it over the black now. I'm going to put some pink on there as well. And then these hairs here come out here. Okay, that's the corner of his little mouth. there. And this 
is very white. This is creamy here. Just put, the, put a bit of white on, so that'll go over that. hairs on his chin are, are quite long. You can actually see that they are quite long. And they're getting pushed aside by his arm. This is that's creamy at the bottom there. And then we'll do a we'll do is some um hairs. They're all going over like that, aren't they? stop now. I could go on and on actually. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Gosh, fantastic. I love drawing. Really love it. Really, really love it. I'm just looking to see if I'm actually on the camera here. It's uh, it's a bit of a tricky old business this. Anyway, I can, I remember now to look in the camera and say bye. Hopefully we'll get a bit done tomorrow. Got a busy day tomorrow though. So um, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, hope I get on with it tomorrow. And I get to this stage, I just want to get finished. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can see it properly. I'll check the video after. Okay, bye then. Bye then.